from under a rock in your backyard. It's the Jerry Duncan Show. And good morning, listeners nationwide. Is it a good morning? We'll soon find out. So today on the show, I've invited Jack Levine. You may ask, who is this guy? I'm here to tell you that your favorite host, me, went out of his way and discovered him. Where? You may ask. In Alaska's best coffee shop, the Snow Hut, he was drinking coffee and eating a bagel that was untoasted and unbuttered. Can you believe it? Jack, what's happening? Right now, you are. Great. Tell me about your unusual job here in Wasilla. Sure. I'm a certified ice cube salesman. It gets better, folks. I'm serious. Come on. Who in their right mind would buy ice cubes in Alaska? Where are people? You've got to be kidding. Oh, no. I take it this is a serious talk show, right? Sort of. So I'm being straight with you, Jerry. There's plenty of money in ice cubes. They're available by walking outside and picking up as many as you want for free. Nothing is free in life. You should know that. Okay. Out of curiosity, how much do you charge? One ice cube is a dollar. Two ice cubes are two dollars. Are you serious? If I bought, all right, even if I could get, even though I can get all I want for nothing, if I bought a dozen ice cubes, I'd have to fork over 12 of my hard-earned bucks. But you'd get your money's worth. Explain. I must be on drugs. My ice cubes are freshly made. There's nothing unnatural about them. When you make ice cubes in your refrigerator, you got artificial freezer burn smelling up for human consumption things. You tell me. Are you going to be a smart person and put natural ice cubes in your drinks? Or are you dumb enough to drop those artificial overpriced things in your beverage? Uh, wait, wait, you're charging 12 bucks for a dozen of your ice cubes. I can make thousands of my ice cubes in my freezer and pay pennies for the electricity. How do you figure my ice cubes are overpriced? It's simple arithmetic, Jerry. I just don't pocket those $12. I pay $6 to Uncle Sam in the state of Alaska, which means you and all the other taxpayers are reaping the money. $5 goes to pay some homeless people to gather the ice cubes. You know, government help those in need, and the remaining dollar I give to charity. What charity? Me. You see, I'm 77 years old. I deserve to get a little bit of money for the essentials like dentures and adult diapers. So I'm not making a ton of money. No, I'm just helping you and other taxpayers by paying my fair share, giving a hand to the homeless and taking care of our elderly. Listen, Pops, you're so old, your social security number is one. Oh, breaking news, the funny farm just called. You missed bed check. Oh dear, I, I better go. If you ever choke on an ice cube, just wait. Thanks for the advice, Jerry. Jack Levine, everyone. Here's a bottle of prune juice, Jack. Enjoy. <laughs> you were mean to Jack. He and I go back a long ways. We grew up together in Queens. You know the only thing that grows in Queens? No. The swelling from your head after getting jacked. <sighs> Always with the jokes. <clears throat> Good news. I found a girl for you. Now who? <laughs> Kathy Anderson's niece, who lives in Fairbanks. Kathy Anderson? You told me that she was the class clown at Juno you know High. Yes, but her antics paid off. She made clown shoes for a living. That's no small feat. Mm. Kathy's very popular in heaven. Even the Lord has a pair. All right, so tell me about this girl. Very pretty face. Short and chubby. Great cook. Loves to eat. Don't you have anything positive to say? If I hang out with her, it'll make me look thinner. I guess she's not your type. Duh. I'm going to go see if I can find someone on Amazon. What's Amazon? A river in Brazil. Forget it. You've been deceased too long. Can I just enjoy being an orphan for a week? One week. But before I go, you say you love me. 
please, I'm your mother. Come on, say the words. Mm -hmm. I guess if it makes you happy. Happy snappy, say it already. Mom, I love you like Miralax after being constipated. Such a beautiful feeling. Oh, Cherry, <laughs> that was so sweet. Don't forget who loves you. Oh, mm -hmm. could I? See you tomorrow. Big Mouth. What's up? Big Mouth. What's up? East to west, north to south, everybody wants some Big Mouth. The Jerry Duncan Show!